folks, guns, gear, and on-target training out here in Oregon. Today we're shooting the Tipman Arms M4-22. This carbine is really designed to be as authentic as possible to the M4 platform and profile. Now this Elite version has some really nice things that come with it. Beautiful M-lock rail, backup uh, sights, which are Tipman branded, but they're very similar to what you see uh, from Magpul and some others. We have the Holosun 403B, which is a great addition to this. Trigger is about, uh, comes enhanced, and it is from Tipman, and it says about five and a half pounds. We've been shooting, it's been great. When I first shot it the other day, could have been break-in periods uh, with the gun just being new and sort of settling in, but I wasn't getting consistency in terms of different types of ammo and being able to run a mag straight through. Some of the times it worked fine. Tried a bunch of different ammo. We'll show you some of the results we got in terms of accuracy at 25 yards, uh, which for me with my eyes and an unmagnified optic, I thought was, was pretty good. What I did find, because I went in on YouTube and I checked it out, and guess what they said? Uh, Tipman has a YouTube video about loading their magazines. Now the M&P 1522, which you guys know I'm a big fan of and I think it's a tremendous trainer, uh, I've had no issues with feed. Uh, feeding into the chamber, ejection or whatever, it's been super consistent regardless of ammunition. With the Tipman though, and their proprietary magazines, which has an inside to it that looks like this. When you load the magazine, the magazine needs to be vertical. If you don't, according to Tipman, and what we saw based on our first trip, was if the magazine is off to the side, it does not properly load the rounds in a way that allows feeding. So, eh, you know, is that a, something I'm crazy about? The answer is no, I'm not. Uh, I'm very frustrated with it, but the reality is it is what it is. And so loading these magazines now, we're going straight up and down. I've just shot about 50 rounds, a couple of different types of ammunition, uh, some CCI uh, mini mag, functioned great. I shot some federal target match stuff, cycled great. So I'm gonna keep shooting it and see what kind of results we get. What I have found with the gun in just in terms of operating and shooting it right, we've got the same fire control system, very similar fit and finish to an M4, is it's a fantastic trainer. I mean, it's, it's almost like sinful because it's so much fun to shoot. So we're gonna keep shooting. We'll share that with you as well, some of the video we recorded the other day and give you guys a chance to see it. Couple things, guys. If you're enjoying our content, please like the video, share it with your friends and family. Secondly, a big shout out to uh, John, who is sh sharing this gun with us today to allow us to do the review. Uh, John, you the man, many thanks. Love you, brother. Uh, so, we're gonna get back to shooting. Let's go to it right now. So down there at 50 yards, we have some steel plates. I'm gonna shoot the eight inch plate. I'm looking right into the sun. I'm giving all kinds of excuses, but this should be fun. Oh baby, this is a good time. The sun in my eyes is giving me a bit of a challenge in terms of actually being able to see what I'm shooting at down there. Gotta love it. 
So the most of the shooting that I was doing was on this larger eight inch plate. I had four shots, I think, or five shots. I hit the four inch plate. Uh, I think four out of the five shots or maybe three out of the four shots. And then on the larger target over there on the left, we were <laughs> I was just sitting there going away at it. So this tip at arms is really a fun, a fun gun. And from, you know, 50 yards, it's doing its job. Good times. Oh yeah, baby. Well, folks, we're back from the range. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I put about 500 plus rounds through the gun, shot a bunch of different types of ammo, uh, shot at distance, we shot at 50, we shot a lot of close in sort of combat moving stuff. Uh, we shot from barriers. It, it's such a fun gun to shoot. And these days, shooting a 22 is a heck of a lot more affordable than shooting 5.56 or any centerfire rifle cartridge. So what were my impressions? Well, my impressions were the gun is exceptional in terms of fit, finish. Accuracy is very, very good. Uh, you'll see here a picture of a target I was shooting off-handed 25 yards, trying to shoot at a fairly brisk speed. As you can see, the red dot might need to be adjusted just a little bit because some of the shots are left and you can see some of the shots are outside of that group. But out of 25 rounds, I thought we had a pretty consistent group right in the center there or just off center. And so I was very pleased with that result. I did note that about 200 rounds in, maybe 250, I was getting failures to fire. So and failures to eject. So what I did was I popped the bolt out, I cleaned the bolt off, I just wiped it off, I put a little bit of light lube on the bolt, and that seemed to fix the problem. When we first function tested the gun, a couple days before the video that we did today, we were getting multiple issues in terms of failures to fire, and so, as I mentioned, I watched a video, and the key thing, guys, if you get one of the, the Chipman guns, is to make sure that as you're loading the magazine, you're loading it in a vertical position, straight up and down, not off to the side, not canted. Because if you do, the rounds will sit in a way that doesn't allow correct and proper feeding. So that's something you need to be aware of and think about as you're doing it. That is my only knock. Other than that, I love it. The magazines, however, having to be loaded in such a precise way and not being as forgiving as, say, the M&P mags is frankly a little frustrating. Now, it's not something that's a deal breaker, but when you load your mags, guys, take the time and put the rounds in one at a time, press the tabs down, go nice and smooth so you get them in and you get the rounds properly loaded so it will fire properly. Very, very happy, so much fun to shoot. I've got a very dirty gun, so I've got to clean it right now. Hey folks, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks so much. And finally, and as always, stay safe.